Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Saikli Patshala. Go to our channel home page and click on the subscribe button. And to get notified for our future videos, click on the bell icon and choose the all option. To answer daily quiz on psychology, search for Saikli Patshala on Facebook and like our page. So let's start this video. In this video, we will be discussing about genetic influence on behavior. When we talk about the genetic influence on behavior, the first thing we need to learn about is the genetics. To discuss about genetics, first we need to learn about certain key terms. The first thing that we need to learn about is chromosome. So what is a chromosome? Chromosomes are the thread-like structures found in the nucleus of each cell in the body. At conception, the human being receives 23 chromosomes from the father's sperm and 23 chromosomes from the mother's ovum. There are 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes available in a nucleus of human cell. Each chromosome is a double-stranded molecule of deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA. Each strand is a sequence of nucleotide bases attached to a chain of phosphate and deoxyribose. There are four nucleotide bases, namely adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine. It is the sequence of these bases on each chromosome that constitute the genetic code or gene. So what is a gene? Each chromosome is composed of many individual hereditary units called genes. A gene is a segment of a DNA molecule. Genes like chromosomes exist in pairs. The total number of genes in a human chromosome is around 1000 or perhaps higher. These genes define a particular hereditary characteristics in us. So when we talk about multiple offsprings in terms of identical twins and fraternal twins, the identical twins or monozygotic twins develop from a single fertilized egg. That means they share the same genetic code. When we talk about the fraternal twins or dizygotic twins, they develop from two different fertilized eggs and may share different genetic codes. These genes actually determine our biological sex. So what makes us a boy or a girl? Using special microscopic techniques, we can distinguish the 23 pairs of chromosome in each human cell. 22 pairs of them are matching pairs called autosomes. They define our bodily characteristics like the color of our hair, the color of our skin, the size and shape of our bodily organs, etc. The 23rd pair consists of sex chromosomes. They are the ones which define the biological sex or the kind of reproductive organ a child will develop. In females, this pair of sex chromosomes is called XX and in males, this pair of chromosomes is called XY. Therefore, when a child has XX chromosome, the child is a girl child and when a child has an XY chromosome, the child is a boy child. Now let us discuss about the pattern of genetic inheritance. Two or more forms of each gene occur at the same place on the chromosomes. One inherited from the mother and one from the father. Each form is called an allele. If the alleles from both parents are alike, the child is said to be homozygous and will display the inherited traits. If the alleles differ, the child is heterozygous and the relationships between the alleles determine the trait that will appear. For example, 
if your father has black eyes and your mother has blue eyes the genetic codes for different eye colors appearing on the same position of their chromosome are known as alleles if both your mother and father have black eyes and you get one allele from both of them your chromosome will be homozygous meaning the two alleles appearing on the chromosome pairs are identical if your mother has blue eyes and your father has black eyes and you have two different alleles from your mother and father you will be having a heterozygous chromosome but what kind of eye color you will have will be determined by the nature of the allele whether it is dominant or recessive so what is dominant recessive relationships a pattern of inheritance in which under heterozygous conditions influence of only one allele is apparent for example dark hair color is the dominant allele and a blonde hair color is a recessive allele in terms of heterozygous condition when a child receives a dark hair allele from one parent and a blonde hair allele from another parent the child will have a dark hair color therefore it can be said that the dark hair color is the dominant allele if a child receives both dark hair color alleles from both parents the hair color will be dark if a child receives only blonde hair alleles from both the parents the hair color will be blonde in both of these cases the child will be homozygous and only in case of heterozygous the dominant gene will have expression and the recessive gene will not have expression meaning the child will have dark hair color and not blond hair color just as we discussed dominant alleles are the only alleles that affect the child's characteristics in heterozygous pairings for example rh positive blood factor is a dominant allele in humans the recessive allele is the one which has no effects in case of heterozygous pairings for example rh negative blood factor is a recessive allele in humans let us discuss about a few dominant and recessive diseases number 1 is phenylketonuria or pku this is a recessive type disorder meaning the alleles from both the parents received are of phenylketonuria this condition is characterized by an inability to metabolize the amino acid phenylalanine contained in many proteins which causes several central nervous system damage in the first year of life the second one is sickle cell anemia which is another recessive disease where the sickling of red blood cells causes oxygen deprivation pain swelling and tissue damage anemia and susceptibility to infection especially pneumonia occur in this kind of disorder the third one is huntington disease it is a disease characterized by cns degeneration which leads to the problems of muscle coordination difficulties mental retardation and personality changes symptoms usually do not appear until the age of 35 or later the disorders we previously discussed are mostly on the autosomes but some of the disorders are linked to the sex chromosomes for example an x linked inheritance disorder is red green color blindness it is a pattern of inheritance in which recessive gene is carried on the x chromosome if you are unable to read the numbers in the picture given on the screen you are probably color blind the other kinds of x linked diseases are hemophilia where the blood fails to clot normally it can lead to severe internal bleeding and tissue damage another x linked disease is diabetes insipidus 
which is an insufficient production of the hormone vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone or also known as ADH which results in excessive thirst and urination. Dehydration can also cause CNS damage. In this condition, the kidneys are not able to retain water from the urine and that is why excessive water is lost from the body. The chromosomal abnormalities can lead to several physical and psychological disorders. The chromosomal defects result from mistakes during meiosis when the ovum and sperms are formed. A chromosome pair does not separate properly or part of a chromosome breaks off. In such cases, disorders like Down syndrome can occur due to the trisomy of 21st chromosome. Edwards syndrome can occur due to the trisomy of 18th chromosome. And Patau syndrome can occur due to the trisomy of 13th chromosome. The above mentioned syndromes are abnormality of autosomes. Trisomy actually means the availability of an extra chromosome. But in a condition called credo chat, one of the pairs in the fifth chromosome is deleted or missing. In this condition, symptoms like mental retardation, delayed development, low birth weight, small head, poor muscle tone, high pitched cry, etc. can develop. The abnormality on sex chromosomes can lead to several disorders as well. In case of females, Turner syndrome can occur where only one of the X chromosome is available and another one is missing. And another form of abnormality that can occur is the triple X syndrome where there is a trisomy of X chromosome. In case of abnormalities in male sex chromosomes, Kleinfelter syndrome can occur where there is a trisomy of X chromosome leading to a genetic combination of XXY and there can be another syndrome known as XYY syndrome where a trisomy of Y chromosome occurs. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Click on the circle to subscribe to our channel and click on the boxes to watch other videos on our channel. Like this video and share it with your friends.